Hey guys, it's Tamara Cinnamon with TheInfiniteDegree.com and today I want to talk about stepping into your 100%, your max level in your life and kind of looking at where are you in each of the areas of your life and why are you not stepping to 100%. Here's the thing, to live a life at max potential, to live a life that's authentic to you, to exactly what you want, you got to figure out what is your 100%, what is it you want, and what's holding you back. And so here's the thing, if it's um, weight, what do you need to do to get to 100%? I know with myself, oftentimes I keep myself at 95. It's like, who am I to be skinny, rich, and happy? Who am I to feel healthy and strong and all those kind of things? And so what's it going to take to be 100% in your health? Okay. What about relationships? Do you, are you settling for a great relationship when you could have phenomenal, when you could have exceptional right? So what are you at in your relationships? And so write this stuff down, right? Your health, where are you at out of 10? Your relationships. Honestly, where is it at? And the thing is, a lot of times we take great as enough and it's like, I've got great friends. I love my husband. Can you take that higher? Of course you can. What's holding you back from stepping into a hundred percent? Wealth. Where are you at? Honestly, scale of one to 10. What's it going to take to get to a hundred percent? That's the whole thing. And so many people say to me, I just want to get to 50%. Absolutely want to get to 50%. But what's the vision? So many people's big, big vision is not to get to 100%. Wealth, what does that look like for you? And what does wealth mean like for you? And what's it going to take to get to 100%? Adventure, right? What about the old bucket list? What's on there and what's it going to take? What, where are you at? Do you go on a lot of trips? Do you feel really blessed and you're thinking, I, I get my fair share? That's phenomenal, but why aren't you stepping up to the top? And so I encourage you, grab a pen and paper, write all of the areas of your life down, okay? What is the different ones? Spirituality, health, wealth, um, relationships, love, uh, personal power, really big one, personal power. Do you want to live a life at max potential? Do you want to live a life cooking with gas? You've got to step to 100%, and you've got to figure out why you're not. And so some of them you might say, are really obvious, right? So finances for a lot of people is one where they're saying, you know, because I've got debt and I've got this and I've got that. Okay, what is the one action plan you're gonna take there that's moving you towards 100%? But what about the areas that you're really strong at? Maybe you're really strong at relationships, okay? Why is your relationships not at 100%? There's a mind twist. Ask yourself that question, why is that? Maybe it's personal power that you really take great care of yourself is it 100%? Are you standing as tall as you can in personal power? Or is there something in there saying, who am I to? And so that's what I, you know, that's what I just suggest. Look at where is your life not at 100%? And what are those feelings that come up when you think I'm going to go to 100%? Are you super excited at something you're going to do? Or is there some little gremlin in there saying you're not worth it? Who are you to? Why would you think you could? It's going to be too hard. All of those things. Because when you tackle that little devil, you can start stepping into your life right now, right here. And so do it. Write it out. Where are you at? And what's the one actionable thing right now that you're going to focus on? As opposed to focusing on it all, what's the one thing you're going to focus on in each area to step towards that 100%, that life of significance on every single level that you are pumped to wake up every single day too. So I hope whatever you're doing today, make it marvelous. Have an absolutely incredible day.